Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaks about how he was jailed. They jailed him, innocent man. This means that not everyone in jail is actually guilty. Sometimes the law is guilty of finding an innocent man guilty. That's the case. Because he might have been framed. Someone might have been a false witness and so on. And they might have jailed a person. So not everyone who is in jail is actually a criminal. And for this reason, we must give those who come out of the jail terms after having served the terms and they come out, give them a chance. Give them a chance to come back into society, embrace them and accept them. Yes, you can keep a watchful eye, but at the same time, you need to, it is our duty to make sure that we make them feel back accepted in the society. May Allah grant that to all of us. May He grant us the ability to do that. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaks about Yusuf alayhi salatu was salam. When he was jailed, it didn't depress him. He made a dua, Ya Allah, I'd rather go to jail than to fulfilling the desires of this lady. Strictly speaking, how many are prepared to do that? May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us the ability to answer that question in our hearts and minds. Imagine, the hadith says, رَجُلٌ دَعَتْهُ إِمْرَأَةٌ ذَاتُ مَنْصَبٍ وَجَمَالٍ فَقَالَ إِنِّي أَخَافُ اللَّهِ Allah will grant the shade of his arsh on the day of Qiyamah to a man whom, when a lady who is very good looking and wealthy and well to do, who has a high status in society, calls him towards sin, and she says, look, he says, look, I fear Allah. Allah says on the day of Qiyamah, I will call him out by name. Everyone will be wondering, what is this man called out for? By name, Allahu Akbar. Allah says, come, come, this day of heat, you will be under the air conditioning system, Allahu Akbar, under the shade of my own arsh, Allahu Akbar. May Allah grant that to us. Remember those who have fallen, it's never too late to turn to Allah. It's never too late to repent. That is why we have the month of Ramadan, so that we can have hope in the mercy of Allah, Rabbul Izzati wa Jalal. So he was jailed, he sees the opportunity of that jail term to teach someone something, to teach his inmates a few things. And that is made mention of in this Quran, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaks about how he told his inmates about Allah. He gave them da'wah. One of them was to be executed and the other one was released. After some time, the king also saw a dream. And Yusuf alayhi salatu was salam interpreted that dream. And as a result, he was called, he was given a chance to clarify his name. He was given a chance to clarify his name because when he interpreted the dream of the king, what had happened is in that dream, there was a prophecy of a drought and there was preparation required for that drought. The one who was able to prepare for that drought was Yusuf alayhi salatu was salam because he understood it totally. So he was made a minister. Imagine from jail to being a minister. It happens many times. We find a person like in this country, from jail to presidency, alhamdulillah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us all understanding that not everyone in jail is actually guilty, as we said. So from the jail term, he was made a minister and he was given a chance to cleanse himself because he refused to become the minister until he was allowed to ask the ladies a question, who was guilty, me or you? And they actually had to confess to say, you know what? We were the guilty ones, you were innocent. So whoever is accused falsely, Allah will give you the opportunity to clarify your name one day, inshallah. If not today, then in the akhirah, inshallah. Thereafter, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaks about how the brothers had come to him begging him, begging him for food. Now look, what lesson do we learn from this? Those who plan the downfall of others, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will drop them lower than those whom they are planning the downfall of. To the degree that one day they might come begging to the same person that they had planned and plotted against at some point. So two lessons. One is we should not plan and plot against someone else. Leave it to Allah. And two is when someone plans and plots against us, don't stress, don't grieve. The story of Yusuf alayhi salam is there as an example for myself and yourselves. So alhamdulillah, when they came, a long story occurred and thereafter it resulted in them being united with the whole family. And there are many stories. In fact, uh, Yaqub alayhi salatu was salam had lost his eyesight. And Yusuf alayhi salam says, take my shirt and go and drop it, go and give it to my father, his sight will come back. Do you know what medicine has discovered recently in the last few years? I read an article whereby they say the sweat of man, human sweat, can actually solve some visual problems in the eyes. A type of cataract can actually be cured through a drops. They were 
they were actually d uh, researching this in Switzerland. The drops with human sweat content in it. Allahu Akbar. Yusuf alayhi salatu wasalam just said it. Take my shirt and go and uh, give it to our father. Cast it on him and his eyesight will return. That's exactly what happened. Now, years later, we don't even know how many years later. But how many years after the revelation of the Quran? More than 1400 years later. People are discovering that indeed, the sweat of human beings has a role to play. I've read the article myself. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us all understanding that this Quran is the book of Allah. Thereafter, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaks about how the parents came together and everyone came together and then the statement was made by Yusuf alayhi salam. Ya abati hadha ta'weelu ru'iyaya min qabl. Oh my father, this is the interpretation of the dream that I had in the very beginning of the sun, the moon and the 11 stars. So the sun was depicting the father of the house. The moon was depicting the mother of the house and we've got to listen to this carefully. And the stars were depicting the 11 children. If you take a look at the qualities of the sun, strong, powerful, it shines, everyone feels secure in the presence of the sun. We go out, we work, we earn sustenance, we come back, we feel so secure. That is, those are the qualities of the sun. Every father in every home needs to have the qualities that the sun outside has. He needs to present, give the warmth in the house, the sense of security, bring in the sustenance, make everyone feel secure and make them feel well. Don't we feel so good when the sun is out? We run around without any fear. Alhamdulillah. Those are the qualities that Allah has kept in the sun. They are supposed to be in every successful father of every home. The moon, beautiful, you can look at it. MashaAllah, you can admire it. The moon, the light of the moon is solely derived from the sun. Do we know that? The, sh the brighter the sun, the more you see of the moon. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has kept the example of the moon, the example of the successful mother in the house. The stars who are the children, you don't see them during the daylight. If you look at the sun, you won't be able to see it directly. You will probably need some glasses. That is the respect of the father in the house. Not to say we shouldn't look at him, but we respect him. But when the moon is out, the stars are twinkling, mashallah. It shows the closeness of relation between the children and the mother. Alhamdulillah. Let's try and understand this example. It's a very deep example. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling us, successful mothers, amazingly, they should be having the qualities of the moon. Can I give you one more? jewel that we extract the moon goes through a 28 day cycle precisely some days it's not there some days it's there the same applies to a woman she goes through a 28 day cycle some days she is there some days she is not there may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us the true understanding wallahi when allah gives an example it is a perfect example that fits and if we think that it is not a perfect example, we need to revisit our intellect because the creator cannot make a mistake. The stars, alhamdulillah, we've seen. Now let me tell you, and we want to end with this. Inshallah, I might mention one verse of Surah Al-Ra'd, seeing that I've taken a little bit more time because it's an interesting surah today. Very interesting. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives us yet another example. When we mix the roles, when father wants to play role of mother and mother wants to play role of father, what happens? There is chaos and confusion. They are fighting. The children lose the most. Don't we agree? The children suffer the most because these two have now confused their roles. So when the sun goes into the place of the moon, the moon goes into the place of the sun. We have an eclipse where you can see neither of them. Amazing. And what happens? The stars are nowhere to be seen when there is an eclipse. The same way when we mix up our roles that Allah has given us, we have what is known as a social eclipse, chaos in the house. Allahu Akbar. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala save us from that sign of qiyamah. In the same way that an eclipse is a sign of qiyamah, we are supposed to be engaging in salah and istighfar and tawbah. When the eclipse is there outside, when there is a social eclipse in the house, that is also a sign of qiyamah. We need to be engaging in istighfar and tawbah and salah until the condition returns to normal. That is Surah Yusuf. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us understanding beautiful lessons. In Surah Al-Ra'ad, which we inshallah we will commence with tomorrow, we will commence speaking about it tomorrow inshallah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaks about how even the thunder praises Allah. يُسَبِّحُ الرَّعْدُ بِحَمْدِهِ وَالْمَلَائِكَةُ مِنْ خِيفَتِهِ Even the ra'd, even the thunder, even the lightning, all these are creatures of Allah. They are declaring the greatness of Allah, engaging in the dhikr and remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, but we don't comprehend it. 
May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us all acceptance. Wa sallallahu wa sallam wa baraka ala nabina Muhammad. Subhanallah wa bihamdihi subhanakallahumma wa bihamdik. Nashhadu an la ilaha illa anta nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilayk.